Hey everyone, my name is Sankalp and you are watching Chasing Whereabouts. And this particular video is going to be all about what all steps you need to take in order to fly drone in Greece and how to get an approval for uh, flying a drone by HCA, that is the Aviation Association of Greece. So I flew drone in Athens and I flew drone in Santorini and I got an approval uh, within half a day I think that was the time in which I got an approval to fly a drone and there is a particular segment that is you have to in order to apply for the application you have to give the time and the coordinates where you want to fly the drone and I will take you to the step by step process of filling out the form and getting an approval from the HCA in order to fly a drone so let's get started Okay, so the, go to this particular website that is Drone Aware, and that's where I researched it uh, in order to fly a drone in Athens, basically. Uh, same thing you can do it for other places in Greece. Now this is the map of Athens. Now the area which is not marked with the, any of the parameter, that is the white area. These are the places where you can fly drones in it. So once you have picked up a spot where you want to fly the drone, then you have to take a step further and fill out the form in case if you want to get an approval to fly a drone for more than 50 meter radius. In case if you want to do it at that particular place in a 50 meter radius, then you don't need any approval in Greece and you can fly drone without any issue. And how you can fill up the form that I will cover in this video later down the line. Now this is the form which is from the HCA if you want to fly a drone in Greece. Now if you want to fly a drone in 50 meters radius then you don't need to fill up the form so you can fly it in a in a zone where the flying is allowed you can fly it without any approval but in case if you are if you want to get an approval for more than 50 meters then you have to fill up the form. And the form goes like this that you have to fill up your name, your passport number, nationality, address while you are staying in Greece, your cell phone number and email ID and these two fields, uh, pilot training certificate and certificate of insurance, you can leave it as an empty. Flight schedule, you, can, you will have to give the flight schedule that when you want to fly it. Flight area, a brief location description that where you want to fly here you will give the name over here the maximum flight altitude is the altitude in which you want to fly make sure that it is in feet so if you are going to give it in meter you convert that into feet and check that out that how much it is and the flight area description is the place where you want to fly. Let's suppose you are flying it at Kalamaki Beach in Athens. Then you just mentioned that Kalamaki be Beach here. Flight purpose, uh, you can mention that it is for personal use. Now this is important, flight polygon coordinates. I'll let you know how you can get the flight polygon coordinates over here. Next is your US detail, that is the detail about your drone. So you mentioned your detail about drone in here. CL number can be left empty. The weight of the drone uh, in, in kgs. And your your personal information over here. And just add a signature by, by the PDF tool. And that's it. Once you have written everything, let me just let you know how to get the information related to the flight polygon coordinates so over here what you have to do is you need to search for the place where you want to fly the drone let's suppose we have want to search it uh, at Kalamaki Beach we want to fly a drone I'll search it over here now I see uh, we've reached to Kalamaki Beach now let's suppose this is the place where I want to fly a drone then you have to draw a polygon here here you can either draw a polygon or you can draw a circle. Let's go with the circle. I want to fly drone over this particular area. I'll make a circle over here. And that means this is the range where I want to fly it. Now if you go to this particular option over here on the right hand side flight manager. In the flight manager you just scroll down. And you will get the 
coordinate information over here so you just copy the complete coordinate information and paste it in your this particular field flight polygon coordinates field and once you have done that you just send out an email to the hca authority the email id on which you have to send the form is mentioned over here info.dagr at the rate hca.gr so this particular form needs to be filled up for all the flights for all the instances which you want to fly at different different particular location and you want to fly it more than 50 meter at this sense you have to submit this particular form again and again now one thing is which i checked with them uh, while i was taking the approval that in case if you are not able to reach to that particular place in the time which you got the approval for then you cannot fly it for more than 50 meter basically you have to be there on time in order to fly it during that duration if you're not there on time then you you have to get the approval once again in order to fly so that's pretty much it for this particular video and i have covered all the steps in order to get the approval to fly drone in greece so happy flying this is uncle signing out see you in the next video Bye.